Our frozen treat journey starts in Whatcom County with an ice cream that is worth all the calories. Acme is ultra premium ice cream. Every pint is made from scratch with layers of flavor mixed in. Our chocolate chip, we drizzle the chocolate into the ice cream so they kind of break into little shards. Another thing that sets Acme apart, most ice cream brands add air to create volume, but Acme does not. So their pints weigh one pound. It's thick and creamy and remarkably rich. Next stop is Nana's Green Tea in Seattle's South Lake Union neighborhood for their matcha parfaits. Housemade syrup is layered with soft serve ice cream and topped with cereal for some added crunch. These decadent creations are so pretty you almost don't want to eat them. Almost. Tea also gets a frozen spin at Bobay Coffee and Tea in Woodenville. Here, ice cream is topped with boba, also known as tapioca pearls, to make a truly unique sundae. It's fun because boba is so hot, especially the ones that we cook here. It's this world where people don't really have ever experienced, and it's like, what is this? It's weird, but it's so good. It's chewy, it's delicious. Seattle Pop started as a small family-run operation. Now you can find them at more than a dozen farmers markets across the city and at their Wallingford storefront. The artisan popsicles are handmade using fresh locally grown ingredients. And the flavors are unique from blackberry ginger to mango chili and avocado. You can even top them with something extra sweet. Would you like that chocolate dipped? Chocolate dipped popsicles, they're a thing. Kidney beans and sweet potatoes don't usually scream dessert, but that might be because you've never experienced halo halo. It's a classic Filipino street food and inspires love year round. Anytime in the summer or not in the summer. You can eat this anytime, actually. You can try it for yourself at Phil Cuisine in Kent. Ingredients like jackfruit, coconut jelly, and sugar palm are mixed together with sweetened evaporated milk and then crowned with bright purple ube ice cream. It's really good. Our last stop is Seattle's Frankie and Joe's, where the ice cream is churned from plants. We create vegan ice cream, and the idea is to uh, make an ice cream that everybody can enjoy um, that isn't reliant on cow milk. Flavors range from the traditional vanilla to the exotic, like salty caramel ash, which gets its color from activated charcoal. There's also beet strawberry rose and gingered golden milk made with turmeric. You can grab a scoop of Frankie and Joe's on Capitol Hill, Ballard, and University Village. Thank you, Kim. There's also a frozen treat for man's best friend. Swell Gelato is a small Seattle company that makes frozen desserts for dogs. They sell them at pet shops and grocery stores all over the Northwest, so look out for that.